All right, what's up, people? Man, I want to talk about this bullshit scam that a motherfucker called me and tried to pull on me, and the shit really ain't cool. And and it's one that'll have a motherfucker on edge, terrified that something happened with a family member of yours, but the motherfucker's called with this bullshit newest scam, a cartel scam. And uh, y'all don't like foul language. You might as well get the fuck up off of here. Because I'm going to be talking about a lot of foul language in this video. Because there's a lot of bitch-made people in this world. Especially bitch-made people who pull off shit like this. Because you're a bunch of bum, poor, lazy, ain't shit-ass motherfuckers who pull shit like this. And I wish motherfucking bullets be raining through your fucking skull. Uh, but in this shit, so I'm going to fucking at work and fucking get a call and I'm thinking it's my sister and she just calling crying and shit and said like I don't remember if the motherfucker I don't think they said my name but uh they like brother brother something uh no are they just crying it's like I just had an accident had an accident and crying I'm thinking like whoa and now my heart pounding because I'm like please don't tell me somebody done passed away or you didn't kill somebody and now you facing some jail. It, you know, the, the call is real fucked up. And it's one that sends you almost in the panic trying to figure out like, damn, trying to figure out like, damn, what you're doing then. For when this, so when this little interaction is going on and crying and then this and that, then a motherfucker grabbed the phone and talking about, yeah, this is the Los Angeles sheriffs. And the motherfucker talking was like, but I'm like, this is the, the interaction on the phone don't sound like an interaction that a sheriff will have with somebody if something went down, it's like, so then the person was like, yeah, well, uh, just to let you know, this ain't the sheriffs. And uh, I'm going to let you know your sister done fucked up. Um, I'm actually with the cartel and trying to act as if the person uh, try to flag down the cops when they seen them doing a drug transaction. And now they got them held captive and shit. And for them to release them. You need to send in money. And so I'm almost thinking this shit like real is this plan because it's happening so fucking fast. And I'm like, I don't want to hang up in case this really is the, my relative on the other end crying like that and shit. And then I'm like, I'm like trying to process everything because shit moving fast. And I'm like, I don't want to hang up. And what if something happened? I'm almost thinking I'm in this paid in full type shit. Remember this shit from paid in full? Well, they ain't even just the movie shit, the real life shit with uh, Rich Porter and his brother and the call coming. I'm thinking some shit like this, like I can't hang up and then this motherfucker do some harm. And then this person up here is still talking shit. But now I don't hear the crying in the background. Like if somebody held hostage, why don't I hear the girl back there crying no more type shit? But this person faking like some cartel shit. So I don't know where it's processing fast because it's going it's just happening and person coming in and speaking fast like they need you to do this and yeah i'm gonna need my money back they didn't cost me all this kind of money and so whoop, whoop, whoop. so how about you you need to uh, uh you got a pen you got a paper and i'm tripping like what the fuck and then so they like well you got what you got a nearby walmart did so trying to get a motherfucker wired like what kind of cartel because i'm as this shit going on i'm like that shit ain't making sense what kind of cartel motherfucker gonna ask you to wire some money I really, the police will trace that shit as soon as your stupid ass think you about to go pick it up. So I'm like, as that shit going down, I'm like, that don't sound like no real, if somebody really in the gym and being held captive, you didn't fuck somebody the money, they're going to have you to transfer the shit through motherfucking track systems. And then you walk into a store that's surveilled and shit. So I'm like, that shit ain't making too bit of sense to me. Like, so... I hang the fuck after a while because then the person like, well, I man, give me the machete. You want it? You think it's a gang? Woo whoop and acting like they about to cut the person hands off and shit to hear them scream like it ain't real. I hang the fuck up. As soon as I hang up, because now I'm like, let me call my sisters and see who is who. So I called my one sister. She answered her phone. Called the other sister. Still, but I'm still kind of leery about because the shit happened a couple, about two hours or so ago. Who I ain't heard back from fucking yet, but I'm thinking the shit ain't fucking real. I think it's a scam. So I even call fucking the sheriffs like, man, is y'all getting scams going around out there with some cart? And the sheriff's dude was like, yeah, we getting the, uh, those kind of scams. Look online, the same kind of scams because the shit don't make sense to me. And I hope motherfuckers don't get conned in that shit. But you people who out there do that little bitch made shit. Uh, uh, you little poor raggedy ain't shit ass motherfucker. That's why I don't fuck with people because people always got some old 
criminal ass, bootleg hustle ass bullshit going on. And you deserve to have fucking your life taken from you. Like it's really a lot of bitch made people in this world. I don't know who fucking raised y'all, what communities teach all this punk ass whole shit. Get your lazy asses up and do something. But uh, that's what I just want to put out there. And it's Christmas time coming up. And it's probably people really out there probably going to be hustled by punk ass motherfuckers. But uh, that's all I got on that one. Peace.